Hey guys, um, I have a part here that I'm about to attempt to cast in metal. It's a 3D printed part and I figured I'd make a video. I haven't seen anyone talking about this method before. Um, maybe nobody else uses this method, so I figured I'd make a video to share it with you guys to see if maybe it's helpful to anybody out there. So what I have here is an ABS part. This, the method that I'm going to show you works for any material, but this is ABS in, for this instance. What I want to do is cast this part in metal. The, the process I'm going to use for this particular part is lost ABS. I know lost PLA is popular, um, but my, my method is, um, is different. I use, well this is just one of the methods I use to cast metal. It's lost ABS. What I do is I take the part, I cast it with a sprue on it, I, I cure it in plaster, and then I use a solvent to completely dissolve all of the plastic and I'm left with a void that's 100% clean because the solvent removes all of the ABS. Um, that's not what this video is about though. This video is about finishing. I have a method for finishing my parts that works for all materials. It works for resin based prints, it works for PLA, it works for ABS, and I haven't seen anyone um, use it or make a video about it and I feel like if I want to make a video I try to make videos about things that nobody else have has discussed before um, so that's what this video is about <clears throat> um, recently I made a video about this machine right here right above let me focus the camera this is a a lapidary machine that I converted to double as a magnetic polisher for you guys in the 3D print world that don't know about magnetic polishers, it's ex essentially a tumbler that uses magnets to um, basically um, uses magnets to have a stainless steel media be aggravated to smooth metal parts and, and polish metal parts. Which for 3D printing it's not practical because the stainless steel only smooths metal parts. But what I've done, here let me show you how it would normally work for metal parts. You would take your container of of media, see how it's magnetic, you would put your part in there and then you would turn on turn on the tumbler and the magnetic action would eventually after about you know half an hour or so would polish your metal parts. It's incredibly helpful for metal parts, but like I said, doesn't work for 3D printed parts. But you can use the same machine to smooth 3D printed parts, and I'm going to show you how. So what I do, I have to use a different container because I don't like to cross-contaminate the containers. So. I get a designated container and I fill it with a little bit of stainless steel shot. And then what I do is I take little bits of, um, of uh, steel wool and I make little balls and then I put them in there too. Maybe 20, 25, 30 of them and I put them in with the steel media. And then what I do is I take a little bit of this. What this is is silicon carbide powder. It's a powdered abrasive. And then I'll put that in there, maybe a teaspoon of it. So essentially what's happening is the steel media will be aggravated from the magnets just like it does in the regular magnetic polisher. But the steel wool is also aggravated with it and steel wool is also magnetic so it gets pretty violent in there but because of the nature of the steel wool because it acts like little sponges it picks up the abrasive so essentially all those little balls of steel wool become little bits of sandpaper basically and then what you do is you put your 3D part in there um, because this this container is is pretty shallow I need to put a lid on it to keep the abrasive in there. And then you'd put that on the tumbler and tumble away. And now I'd say maybe 
30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, your part is gonna come out 100% smooth. It gets in all the tiny little crevices and cracks, all your print lines, your support, um, I don't know what you call them on resin prints, the, the, the little bumps where your supports were, everything, it gets rid of them all. Your parts will come out perfect, 100% perfect. And there's basically no work involved whatsoever. So anyway, I use that all the time. Um, I figured maybe some of you guys would uh, benefit from that video. You can make these magnetic polishers really easily. Essentially all it is is a motor, a plate, and you have when you put the magnets here, let me show you the plate. Anything that spins, you could basically make this out of. It's a plate with your magnets on it. The magnets have to have alternating poles. Negative, positive, positive, no, I mean, sorry, north, south, north, south, north, south. They have to alternate because it creates like a turbulence of the magnetic field and that's what jostles all the metal and it creates like a, like a whirlpool effect inside the jar. And that's what smooths your parts. Um, magnetic tumblers are awesome. If you don't have one, um, definitely consider making one or getting one. They're not too expensive, but because they're so simple, um, making them should be really easy. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, guys, if you guys could help me get there. I'm a product development engineer, and the projects I make at work are pretty awesome, and I want to start making videos. <coughs> but um, it's a lot of work, and I don't want to buy equipment and put in too much time if the YouTube algorithm just really isn't going to show my videos to anybody. So I feel I've made like a personal goal of a thousand subscribers. If I can get there, I'll start putting in actual work into these videos and um, and yeah so I'm gonna start um, doing some giveaways um, I had the plates that are required to make your own magnetic polisher I was gonna start giving some of those away and just come up with a few random things that uh, I feel like some of you guys might like to kind of coax you into subscribing anyway guys thanks for watching I will be making a video next I think on I have a unique process for actually casting metal parts that um, I haven't seen anyone um, talk about. So I think that's going to be my next video. All right, guys, take care.